We're going to explore the STEM T4L Immersive Virtual Reality Kit for secondary schools. It's important that this information really is only for secondary schools because there are some safety risks when you use this kit with younger students. So we only make it available here in New South Wales to secondary schools. The Immersive Virtual Reality Kit features three main pieces of hardware. The head mounted display, which is a high resolution HP Reverb second generation headset and the HP Omen laptop. We wanted to use a laptop for the virtual reality so that schools could easily move it around from classroom to classroom. Let's now assemble all the pieces and you'll notice there's a lot of cables going on so we'll work out where all those cables go. Let's look at the head mounted display or the, the Reverb headset. When you plug it into the laptop, you'll notice that there are two cables, the USB-C and the display port. Both cables need to be plugged in for the headset to work in the side of the laptop. The headset is actually quite high resolution, so it's got its own little power supply. So that side power plug needs to stay plugged in. Uh, so if you see that, you know that's why it's there. So when you're ready to plug the headset into the power, this is the small power supply that you're looking for. The headset has got built-in audio, so you can use them for all the VR experiences. It's also got an adjustable strap here at the top, which can be adjusted to make the headset feel really comfortable. And there is also adjustable straps here on the sides that you can adjust as well. While the laptop, of course, has got a built-in battery and you can run it without plugging it in, because the immersive virtual reality is quite a high-powered experience, it's gonna drain the laptop battery quite quickly. So my recommendation is to always have the laptop plugged into power. When you are going through the kit, the laptop power supply is, of course, the large one, and the power, the power plugs into the side of the laptop. Interactivity in virtual reality is always with motion controllers. There is a right hand and a left hand version. So when you pick them up, look for the squeeze triggers on the inside and your pointing fingers wrapped around the buttons at the front. These motion controllers do take AA batteries and while the kit comes with the batteries included, the school will need to provide their own batteries and it does chew the, through these quite quickly. So have some on hand in the lesson, just in case they run out. In the kit, you should also see a HDMI to VGA adapter. We've included that just in case your school has got a VGA projector or a large display. And so the dongle is simply to help you to connect to whatever large display you have in your classroom. We've also included a HDMI cable to connect from the side of the laptop to a potentially large display device so that the rest of the class can see what the person in the headset can see. The immersive virtual reality kit really does give students an amazing and unique perspective on content that they're exploring. Whether they're creating for VR or whether they're experiencing commercially made products in VR, this opens up a whole new world of learning for students. To learn more about how you can use the virtual reality kit, you can come to youtube.com forward slash STEM T4L and find more videos about the immersive VR kit. Or why not join the Facebook community or the Yammer group and learn how your colleagues are using the VR kit in their classrooms.